Oh, sorry. Uh, welcome to the Standing Committee on Social Development Public Hearing. Um, before we start, I would ask Mr. Blake to open us with a prayer. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this day. May many more come. We thank you for all the blessings you have bestowed upon us. We ask that you watch over our families and constituents as they do their work here in, in the Legislative Assembly. We ask all this in your holy and precious name, Lord. Amen. Uh, Mr. Sharady, could you uh, review and review the agenda for us, please? Sure, Mr. Chair. Uh, again, uh, essentially a one-item agenda. It's a public hearing on Bill 13, the Marriage Act. Uh, um, so uh, upon introductions, uh, there's the uh, Minister's opening remarks, uh, general comments, questions by the committee, uh, public submissions, if any, and then uh, uh, the potential to move to the clause-by-clause -clause review, Mr. Chair. It's, uh, that's all we have on the agenda for today. Thank you, Mr. Sharady. Could I have a mover to accept the agenda? Moved by Mr. Bolio, second by Ms. Green. All in favor? Thank you. Uh, any declarations of conflict of interest? None seen. Uh, welcome to this meeting on the Standing Committee of Social Development. Uh, at this point in time, I'll ask our staff to, or our staff, our, my colleagues to introduce themselves, starting with Mr. O'Reilly. Kevin O'Reilly, phone mic. Julie Green, the Illinois Life Center. Michael Madley, MLA for Detroit. And uh, Tom Bolio, uh, MLA for Tunida and Willoughby. Frederick Blake, MLA for Mackenzie Delta. Welcome. Uh, welcome, Shane Thompson and Hindi. On my right is Doug Shawry, our clerk. And on my left is our research advisor, uh, Megan Walsh. Um, today, the Standing Committee on Social Development is hosting a public view of the Bill 13 Marriage Act. I will now invite the Honourable, Mem Honourable Glenn Abernathy, Minister of Health and Social Service, to open the proceeding of Bill 13. Following the Minister's members may make, or following the Minister, members may make comments or pose questions on the bill. Minister Abernathy, please introduce your staff up for the record and proceed with any opening remarks as you have, may have for this bill. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair, and I'm pleased to be here today to discuss Bill 13, the Marriage Act. Uh, I have with me today a number of different individuals. Mr. Derek Elkin, who is the Assistant Deputy Minister of Corporate Services with the Department of Health and Social Services. Uh, Mr. Thomas Druan, who is uh, Legislative Counsel. Uh, behind us is Denise Canwell, who is the Director of Policy, Legislation and Communications. Uh, at the table with us is Ms. Ravan uh, Bettingfield, who is the Senior Policy Advisor who worked on this particular uh, piece of work. Uh, behind us are also uh, Susan Laramie, the Ministerial Special Advisor, and Kate Sills, the Senior Advisor to the Deputy. Uh, Mr. Chair, the current Marriage Act predates the 1988 consolidation of the Northwest Territory statutes. Uh, minor amendments have been made to the Mar Marriage Act since then, however, None have kept pace with uh, the federal government's Civil, Civil Marriage Act and also with other provincial and territorial marriage legislation. It is important that we uh, update the existing Marriage Act uh, now to ensure compliance with the Federal Civil Marriage Act and the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. The proposed Marriage Act bill is consistent with other jurisdictions' marriage legislation while recognizing some specific needs uh, of the NWT. Uh, for example, by making it easier for residents in smaller communities to get marriage licenses. Uh, we recognize that there are times where an individual wanting to marry may be unable to make the required statutory declaration before the issuer. Uh, for this reason, individuals will be able to make the required statutory declaration in other approved ways. Uh, in addition, many marriages in smaller communities take place in church. Uh, the Marriage Act will continue to allow a couple to opt for the publication of bans uh, by their church in place of having to obtain a marriage license, even though many larger provinces do not require that. Uh, the bill proposes several key changes to the existing act. Uh, for example, the marriage of those under the age of 16 will be prohibited to comply with the Federal Civil Marriage, Le marriage Act. Uh, a public registry of marriage license issuers will be established. Um, the bill allows for the establishment of a public registry of marriage commissioners and registered clerics in the future. Uh, there will be greater clarity around the provisions regarding the consent required for minors wanting to marry. Uh, individuals will be prohibited from being under the influence of drugs or alcohol at the time they are requesting a marriage license, requesting bans, or at the marriage ceremony itself. 
Uh, Gender-specific reference will be removed. Uh, provisions relating to persons that were previously married are simplified. Uh, confidentiality provisions are included to protect the privacy of individuals and eligibility requirements for individuals applying to be appointed as marriage commissioners will reflect current administrative practice. Uh, Mr. Chair, those are my opening comments. Be pleased to answer any questions that the uh, members may have and uh, thank you once again for your time. Thank you, Minister Bernathy. Is there any questions, uh, comments in regards to the Minister's opening comments? Seeing none, I believe we are now concluded with this stage of our review. Is there any, anyone from the general public who wish to comment on this bill presently? Mr. Chowdhury, is was there anybody available for asking to present? No, sir. Okay, thank you. Um, nobody from the public. Okay, if there is no further general comments or witnesses presentation, does the committee agree to proceed to a clause-by-clause -clause review of Bill 13, Marriage Act? Agreed. Agreed. Thank you. The committee agrees to conduct a clause-by-clause -clause review of Bill 13. Let's turn to page one of the bill. There are 52 clauses in the bill. Do you wish to consider the clause in groups of 10? Three. Thank you. Clauses one to 10. Three. Thank you. Clauses 11 to 20. Clauses 21 to 30. Clauses 31 to 40. Clauses 41 to 50. Clause 51 and 52. Does the committee agree that Bill 13, the Marriage Act, is now ready for consideration in Committee of the Whole? Mr. Bullio. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I move that Bill 13, the Marriage Act, be reported to the Assembly as ready for consideration by Committee of the Whole. Motion is in order. Motion is on the floor. To the motion. Question. Question, Question has been called. All those in favor? Opposed? Motion is carried. Bill 13, Marriage Act, will be reported to the Assembly as ready for consideration in the Committee of the Whole. Thank you, Minister. Thank you to your officials. Thanks to everybody for coming this afternoon. We are now adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Just, just a question to the minister. I should have asked this a little earlier, but from what I understand, some of the G, GSOs can actually administer the marriage license in some of the communities. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Blake. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. Ms. Benefield. Some of, <coughs> Mr. Chair, some of the uh, GSOs in the communities do um, administer and provide marriage licenses to those who are eligible. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, we will know. <laughs> uh, anything further? If not, we will adjourn the meeting. I thank Minister Abernathy and your staff for being present in the committee. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you.